Introducing first, from New York, weighing in at 191 pounds, the NXT champion. Hey guys, this is an incredibly Andre important match Cooler. for the champion. Yeah, that's right, Cole. Despite the title not being on the line, the last thing he wants to do is show any sort of weakness here, because you can bet there are guys in the back studying his every move. The Bruiserweight! And their partner, from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunne! I am so excited to see Pete Dunne make it to this level because this guy is going to be a star, a major star. An unmatched mean streak when it comes to WWE superstars. Pete Dunne knows so many ways to hurt you, and he enjoys each and every one of them. First on the scene with the likes of Tyler Bate, who was the first ever United Kingdom champion, and Trent Seven to form British strong style. But he's now moved off on his own and to become one of the great young up and coming superstars in WWE today. Almost a uh, sick. The Undisputed Era is here! Cole O'Reilly and Fish, the most elite superstars in the entire world. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 602 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Adam Cole, Kyle and Bobby Fish. Two-time NXT era. Tag Team Champions have arrived. You talk about the Undisputed Era, you're looking at a collection of some of the most successful internationally traveled superstars in all of sports entertainment. And now you add Roddy Strong to the mix and they are as dominant as ever. There's always a question if you've achieved worldly success in sports entertainment prior to WWE, whether or not you can carry that success over. Well, the Undisputed Era has proven not only can they carry that success, they have taken it to a whole new level. This is it. Handicap action is underway. You know, even though the title is not on the line, this is still an important match for the champ. He can't afford to show any weakness here. Close line. What a close line. Ouch. Simply needs to find a way to regroup. Oh! Nailed it! Oh, boom! Oh, oh, swept the leg right out from under. Boom! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Suplex! He's starting to stagger a bit. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. Wow. The super kick. Here's his chance. He might have it. What a throw. Can he finish the job? 
That might be enough to put this match away. Going all the way up. You've got to believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. He's on the defensive now. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. It's going to be hard for him to win this handicap match if he doesn't somehow find a way to fend off some of this punishment he's taking. Here we go. I don't think he's got it completely locked. In. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Double underhook suplex. Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. I always loved a good handicap match growing up, especially when you'd see Andre the Giant go up against two or three jabronis. Despite being outmanned, you always knew Andre would walk away with the win. Oof! This might be it! Oh, my! Ooh, what impact! Oh, man, what a boot! Andre the Giant really was the king of the handicap match, as Corey was saying earlier. And he also made quite a name for himself competing in battle royals, as you would suspect. Seeing as he's well over 500 pounds. I think my favorite Andre the Giant Battle Royal moment came at WrestleMania 2 when he last eliminated both members of the Hart Foundation to walk away with the win. There was no getting him over that top rope that night, fellas. Backbreaker! Big boot. Going for the X-Plex. I knew it was only a matter of time. A lot can go wrong in a match like this, guys. In fact, I'll be surprised if we don't see a major injury occur here tonight. Oh, nasty impact. To Corey's point, handicap matches are an incredibly dangerous atmosphere, and being outmanned in any way, whether it's by one, two, or even more competitors, can result in serious injury. Or in the case of Braun Strowman, you can be outmanned and still somehow be the one delivering the injury. I mean, he is absolutely unbelievable. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh! Oh, clothesline! Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! Oh, what a right! Man, that's some attitude behind it. Nailed it! There are certain superstars who are synonymous with handicap matches. Of course, there's Andre the Giant, and more recently, Braun Strowman. But I don't think I've ever seen anybody in more handicap matches. He's looking at it. Oh, what a fall! Dirt. He's starting to feel it here. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. Well, I don't think his performance here tonight is necessarily one I would point to if I were to instruct an up-and-comer on how to win a handicap match. I couldn't agree with you more about what you were saying earlier, Michael. It seems like Big Show has been in dozens, if not hundreds, of handicap matches. And believe it or not, I'd say he won the majority of them. Yeah, but I can tell you one he didn't win. How about on SmackDown back in July of 2008 when he was forced to take on MVP, Vladimir Kozlov. Kyle O'Reilly setting it up! Uh-oh, what a strike! Harsh impact! Hey guys, remember when Shane McMahon competed against the supposed Legion of Doom in a handicap? Whoa, he, he works his way out! A bit of a Houdini job right there. Oh boy, he is rolling! Close line! What a stop! Good grief! Oh, what impact! Ooh, what impact! Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. I remember that Shane McMahon's handicap match you were mentioning earlier. But he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. What grace! Float over into the... Nothing fancy about that. Elbow right to the back of the neck. Oof. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. I don't know about you, but I don't like his chances of survival here in this handicap match. He may very well find himself on the wrong end of oh, this man. decision if he doesn't come up with something quicker. You've got to believe this one's over. Underhooks. 
He's going for the pin. O'Reilly pops the shoulder up. Not going to keep Kyle down this early. This might be it. Oh, my. <laughs> Arnie dodges out of the way. This could end it in a hurry. What impact. But did he go for it too early? Here's Kyle O'Reilly into the quick cover. And done quickly, kicks out. The bruiserweight Pete Dunne still has some fight left, which means trouble for his opponent. Ooh, no luck against Dunne there. Too quick. We've seen some pretty lopsided handicap matches over the years, and one that stands out in my mind well, it might just be the 2010 encounter that saw John Cena take on six members of the Nexus. Blariot! He's in a little bit of trouble now. He's always up for a challenge, and tonight is no different. It's make or break time here, and he absolutely has to... Oh, kick! Man! There is no coming back from that one. That six-on-one match Byron brought up earlier actually could have even been more lopsided, if you remember. It was looking for the exclamation point! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. A moonsault! Here he goes. There it is, it's locked in. Smart maneuver. That could be a game changer. He's struggling a bit here. Guys, he's gonna have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. Handicap matches are all about the odds, Cole, and sometimes understanding and navigating those odds correctly, as fair or unfair as they may seem, can make all the difference in the world. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Float over. Oh, and DDT! This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. He's not looking good here. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. Listen to this crowd. They can see this handicap match is starting to slip away from him here. Bone breaker. Right to the lower back. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, nasty impact. Can he end it here? He's got him covered. And I can't believe this match is still going on. I think Bobby Fish's tenacity here is coming from his days training under Harley Race. Oh boy, he is rolling. We've arrived. It's about time for the bitter end. Wow. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE Here for years and only see a match that Andre good a few Kumar. times. Epic. And Pete Dunne. Big win here in this handicap match. Bobby Fish did nothing but fall. Hook, line, and sinker tonight. Ha <laughs> ha.